All right, welcome back to Go uh, Orcrean Goron Village. Yeah, we're in Goron Village, yeah. Orcrean of Time, we're here in the Derudo Fortress trying to save all the carpenters for... I don't really know why Link wants to save all the carpenters. Um, because he's really not indebted to them at all. But we have two left to find, and we're trying to avoid jail. Hello! Goodbye. So if you can, run this way really quick. <laughs> Actually, no, we want to get the other one first. Duh. This one. Yep, see what I meant by before? If you already did one, they just jump down and nail you. Ah, this one, like, just does not like me. Come on. Got you that one. This is going a little bit easier than before. Yeah, keep doing that. I like it when you do that. Alright. So we got this one. Alright, so we've gotten the red, the green, and the silver one. We're missing the blue one at this point. I think I know where it is. I want some of that, though. Alright. I think it's back this way. Mm. I actually think I might want to get captured again. It might be a quicker route. Nope. Oh, please. Oh, I missed. <laughs> won't be a harder fight just because well, it's the last one but it will seem like it at least to me you think if they put this much guarding over these carpenters they would have put better guards over Link when he got thrown in jail you know what I mean Just keep jump slashing whenever you can. Once you get the hang of it, they're easy. The first one, I'm sorry. It's been a while. Because I hate uh, Bongo Bongo and I never beat him enough. Alright, that's the last of the carpenters. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Gerudo talking about. They said in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Gerudo Valley. So drop by sometime. You may find something useful there. Something helpful there. Bye. So yeah, they do tell you you need the Eye of Truth to get to... Hello. I've seen your fine work to get past the guards here. You must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men, except for the great Ganondorf, were useless. But now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Niburu, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Niburu is second in command to the Ganondorf, King Gan yeah, bleh, 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 to the great King Ganondorf of the Thieves, yes, what she said. Her headquarters are in the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then. 
You're in from now on. Take this. With it, you have free access to all the areas of the fortress. When you obtain the Gerudo token, you can now get into the Gerudo training grounds in their hideout. So there are two things you can do here in the Gerudo fortress. There's two items, well, besides the, um, besides the heart piece on the roof, there are actually two other items you need to get here. No, oh, I lied. Three. Three! There's another heart piece. So now you can just walk around and talk to them. From now on, you're free to come and go as you please to the gate in the desert. You'll find the spirit temple where the exalted Nuburu lives out there in the desert. So, we're not going to go do that yet. First off, let's go talk to the guy with the carpenters and see what he has to say. We also need to get Epna back. Did I leave her over here? Nope, she went away. Okay. I believe. Up oh, there's one of the little skeletons we need. That's one, and I believe there's another one over here, actually. I don't know what's in that hole. It's probably not that important. It's not on my list, so. Yep, you can hear another one over there. Not this. That's a worthless rupee. There you are. And that's two. We can go do that later when we come back. But let's go talk to the carpenter guy. Hey, I heard you saved my men. When they return, we rebuilt the bridge. Look at this. Isn't it a fine bridge? They may be wimpy carpenters. Once they all get together, they get the job done. So yeah, now the bridge is fixed, and you can just walk right across it. Building a bridge over the valley is a simple task for four carpenters. When Naburu was a lone wolf thief, she never stole from the weak, but now Naburu's gang of thieves stands for cruelty and brutality. She claims to be a chivalrous robber, but no way. In Gerudo society, those who have great skill in horseback riding and archery are well respected. How about trying horseback archery at the Gerudo Fortress? If you have a horse, a Gerudo from the Fortress will set up your challenge. The leader of the gang of thieves is Nabooru. She's experimenting and brainwashing many people at the ruins in the desert. Yeah. Hi! I'm the Wandering Running Man. I've run all over this land in search of true competitive spirit. I beat all challengers, man and beast. You're an athletic guy, and you look like you might have a true killer instinct, too. Now the bridge over Garuda Valley is complete, I'm looking for a challenger to have a commemorative race against. The best time from here to the bridge in the Lost Woods was 2 minutes and 38 seconds. That's my record. Will you challenge my record? No. I forget what you get if you win this, because I know it's not a hard piece. Honestly, I really don't remember. I'll throw it up on screen what it is, but it can't be that important, to be totally honest. Because it's not on my list. <laughs> but yeah, so, call Epina. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try the horseback. The horseback archery. You can get two items from the horseback archery. And I don't know why Epina came from the river rather than the bridge, but okay. <laughs> now the horseback archery, in my opinion, is very, very simple, but you just have to, once you get your timing down. And no, Epina will not go upstairs. Don't even try. You have to run all the way around. Alrighty. They will lend you a horse if you need it. 
if you don't have Ephina yet, I think. But. Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but. Okay, how about the horseback archery challenge? Once the heart starts galloping, shoot the targo with your arrows. See how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you score a thousand points, I will give you something good. Yes. So, Epina will move by herself. You only have to worry about shooting the targets. Ah. Ay, my timing's off. Timing was way off. It doesn't matter, I got it. So it'll stop after you do all 20 arrows. Fantastic, you're a true master. I'll give you this. Keep improving yourself. Alright, you get the heart piece, but I is this where you get the, hold on, hold on, you gotta do it again. So yeah, if you can beat 1500, you get an even better prize, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, let's try one more time. If I don't miss, 1500 is an easy feat. Like that. And then. So I've got six shots left. And I got 1640. See, this game is pretty easy. As long as you know where to hit. I'll be darned, you're the ultimate master. I'll give you an item suitable for the master. This quiver is very important to me. I want you to have it. Take good care of it, okay? And you get the biggest quiver. Now you can carry 50 arrows, and that makes me happy. Alright, Epina, you just hang out here for a little bit and play with the other horses. I got one more thing we have to go do. I don't know if I can do it within the time limit though, but we'll try. So, right down here is this lady. This is the Gerudo Trading Ground. Gerudo Token Verified. Would you like to try for 10 rupees? Alright, I'll take your 10 rupees. Give it your best shot. Now, this is basically a mini dungeon. Yeah, I don't care, Navi. And you do get an interesting item at the end. Alright, so... Let's go this way first. If you can overcome the trials in the chamber ahead, then and only then will you be qualified to hold our secret treasure. So this... This is completely 100% optional. Um, oh, I had the wrong sword on. Ha 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 ha. Yep, yep. Sorry, I'm guys, I'm concentrating. I gotta. Time limits make me nervous. That's one down. So basically the whole point of the trials is you have to beat each room within a time limit. Time limits make me nervous. <laughs> so if I go quiet, I'm trying to concentrate. Alrighty. I guess not all the rooms have um, time limits. That's not the boots I want. I want the butter boots. Thank you. 
us to do no I think this is what she wants us to do yes so whereas in the um shadow temple you had to play Zelda's lullaby a lot in in the Spirit Temple, you actually have to play the Song of Time a lot. I mean, it's going to be a lot of switching out in the items. That opens... That opens the beginning door. I forget which way we want to go, but we got a key, so that's all that matters. Find the secret hidden in this room. Which clearly tells us that we need to put on... It looks like the hammer. I believe one of these has a door behind it. And the lens of truth does not seem to help. Oops. That opens the door. Oh, there it is. Whoops. So there's no map for this area either. in the room. They lied. Open, please. Alright. What was this room? Blind the eyes of the statue. Challenging as I remember it being. We have four keys so far. How do you get back out? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's just. Oh, that's not how you get back out. Or it can be. Alright, um. No? Okay. Play the Song of Time. No? Alright, well, in the next episode, I will figure out how to get out of this room. 
and we'll continue on finishing this mini dungeon. <laughs> to be continued.